All right, today we're going to start on a, a new video. Uh, I'm going to be making another uh, chain shroud uh, for the uh, motorized bike project. And uh, since I've gone up to the larger diameter sprocket, I, you know, uh, the original shroud that I made was designed to go around the clutch and around a 14 tooth sprocket. And this is a 32 tooth sprocket. This is as large as I'm going to go on uh, this uh, jack shaft sprocket. So uh, I don't have a problem uh, making another uh, chain shroud. I'm glad I didn't do it when I had the uh, 24 tooth. Uh, I didn't make one then because if I did, going up to the 32, it wouldn't fit. So, but this, I've decided this is as large as I'm going to go on a jack shaft sprocket. So uh, we'll put together a, a new chain shroud. And uh, this time around, I'm actually going to be using uh, this aluminum that I've had kind of kicking around this uh, diamond plate piece of aluminum uh, I believe it to be 16 gauge I don't have my little uh, little thickness meter um, but it's either 16 gauge or 18 gauge uh, doesn't really matter it's plenty uh, plenty to uh, cover up that chain just to make it's just it's not structural it's just to protect your uh, your flesh and your pants and your shorts from getting chewed up by that chain. So uh, I'm going to use uh, this diamond plate aluminum and I don't have a method for uh, welding aluminum anymore. I used to have a ACDC TIG welder but I never used it so I sold it um, about five months ago. So anyway this is going to be a completely uh, uh, bolt together uh, fixture since I, I, I don't have the the equipment to weld aluminum anymore so uh, so yeah this whole thing is just going to be held together with uh, fasteners and stuff like that so anyway uh, we'll get started uh, measuring out uh, effectively the circumference of both um, the rear sprocket and the uh, clutch so we'll get going on that okay so now we need to get basically the length of material that we need it's sort of a long oval circumference that we need to obtain so just take the uh, tape measure kind of bend it around a little bit not working too well let me come at it from a different angle and it needs to go around the outer diameter of the clutch so we get that and we come around. So I'm showing 27 and a half inches uh, and that's obviously a tight fit and uh, so we'll come in here I'll probably uh, I'll probably leave that piece of uh, uh, aluminum diamond plate full length and uh, bend it how I need it and then cut it off because we gotta remember we gotta have some clearance in there I want to have at minimum a quarter inch of clearance I'd like a half inch um, so, uh, another thing that we need to focus on is uh, how we're going to mount it. And you can see the uh, rib nuts from the original. I've got the, the first uh, chain shroud that I made right here. And you can see here on the top uh, the mounting tabs that mounted it to the rib nuts and the, uh, the engine bracket. Well, you can't see this rib nut back here because the uh, diameter of this new sprocket is so much larger so uh, I'm gonna have to come in here I think and that's why I had those thinner those one inch pieces of uh, flat stock aluminum flat stock I'm gonna have to make kind of a bracket system to come up out down under and then back up to bolt to the two uh, rib nuts that are right here in my finger you can't actually see the rib nuts but they're right there these two you can see but I'm going to do the same thing uh, there as well. So uh, we'll get our measurements on those and uh, start bending up that aluminum. All right, and then we got one bracket made. And you see how it loops under and around the chain. Come in, bolt into those uh, already existing uh, rib nuts on there on the uh, the top and the bottom. So that gives us flat mounting surfaces top bottom and side 
to bolt on uh, all of our covers that we're going to need. So just need to come in here and make uh, another duplicate of this for uh, up here in this area and uh, then we'll be ready to uh, skin it. Alright, and there you can see we got our two uh, aluminum brackets made. And so now all we got to do is come in here and uh, get that uh, diamond plate and uh, make it come around uh, the perimeter of the uh, sprocket and clutch. So I'll get going on that. Alright, so we're going to bend this uh, exactly the same way we did before with the other uh, chain shroud. Uh, this time I actually have a little, I have a larger diameter. The uh, radius that I'm trying to achieve is three and a half inches. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is bend this and then move the material and then bend it to achieve, because this is a four inch uh, diameter piece of exhaust pipe. Obviously that would be a two inch radius. So uh, I'll get going. I'll show you what I'm going to try and do here. Bend it about 90. And then we'll try and reposition our material. Bring it out just a tad. Check it, make sure it's pretty straight. Now it's aluminum soft, so you get some leeway with it. Move this again. It's going to take a little manipulation to get this to a, a nice radius. But that's basically how we get our, uh, our basic shape of it. So I'll work on this a little bit more and try and get that shape uh, dialed in as best I can. 